there any mystery challenge, which is basically where we get sent an unusual ingredient and together with your help we get to make something awesome with it why is he not singing because he's got the voice of a dying weasel <laughs> <laughs> james has got a box he's going to give it to us <laughs> There you go. There you go. And hook the beast. I'm scared of this one. Don't be scared, it'll be Don't fine. Don't be scared, Barry Manor. Oh! oh what's that? That what? is an alien. Ta-da. Wow. Is that a is it, bunch it, of chilies? A deformed chili. <laughs> that looks like something oh. from Alien. What are you that's, doing? Smell that. What is that? Oh, that's a, that's a lime. James, I think we know what it is. That is a deformed lime. <laughs> uh, no. It's, uh, it's a Buddha's hand. What? Just, oh. You know, you see the fingers? It's, yeah, um, it's like yeah. a lemony, limey, limey, citrusy, <laughs> lemony, limey, citrusy fruit. Um, except there's no juice. So it's all good. just pith all the way through. Does anybody have any ideas what to do with it? No. Please. Flavour wise, maybe, but not a clue. Somebody out there must know what to do with this, please. <laughs> After all of your suggestions, we have come up with... You did good. You did very good. This is a citrus naked cake. Yes, and we put... To clarify, we're not getting naked. It starts with a sponge, so softened butter being beaten together with caster sugar until it's light and fluffy. Then we'll add in the eggs, one at a time, before folding in the self-raising flour. Once you've got your fairly classic cake batter ready, you might normally add vanilla to it. We're not. We're going to soften it off with a little bit of milk, but we're going in with our Buddha's hand. Now this fruit is pretty much entirely pith and zest. Mm -hmm. So there's no juice inside, which means you can just take the whole thing and just zest it in. And you're looking for a couple of tablespoons in total. That could be our new DJ names. What? Pith and zest. Yeah, pith and zest. DJ pith and MC zest. Yeah. Next up, we're going to bake off our mixture. You can put it into any cake tin you want, round ones, square ones, some as large as Barry's head. But what you need to do is make sure it's about a centimetre thick then when we bake it off, we can cut rings out of it. And then we're going to bake it off in an oven, 180 degrees Celsius, for about 10 or 12 minutes. How do I know whether it needs 10 or 12 minutes or somewhere in between? You're looking for something that's golden brown all over, and when you push it, it will just spring back. While we wait for our cake to bake and then cool completely before we cut it up, it's now time to make a marmalade. Mar yeah, marmalade. Mar With Buddha's hand. Very citrusy. All you need to do is take one orange and one lemon and juice it into a pan and then throw the halves in as well. Top it up with water and add an entire Buddha's hand chopped up into small pieces in as well. You need all the weights and measurements, they're available down below. And then heat it to a boil and bubble it for 45 minutes. It does sound like a joke, Buddha's hand. Like, you go, imagine going to a shop and going, uh, do you have a Buddha's hand? And the man laughing at you saying no. I did, three times last Good. week. They're very difficult Good. to get hold of. <laughs> Most people haven't even heard of them. However you can, they're amazing. If not, just sub it out for more orange. They might. And it's the pith you want. They might take you more seriously if you ask for its alternate name, which is Fingered Citron. It's less of a joke. Cake is ready. Which means we need to allow it to cool, and the best way to do that is to transfer it to a wire rack so it can cool from both top and bottom. In the meantime, we're going to whip up a cream cheese frosting because there's so much sugar and flavour in our marmalade and the sponge is really sweet, the cream cheese frosting is just full fat cream cheese with a drop of vanilla extract. After your marmalade mixture has been bubbling away for about 45 minutes or so, you can oh, dig smell. out the halves. And the reason you keep them in there in the first place is because this bit, as you squeeze, it's all the pith actually contains all the pectin and that's what helps a marmalade to set. So all of our jam sugar can go in. This is preserving sugar or jam sugar. Again, it's got some slightly added levels of pectin in there. And how do we know when that's done? 10 or 15 minutes of bubbling away with these quantities will give you something that's near enough. Especially we're going to lay it on a cake, it's not critical if it's exactly the way you want it. Otherwise, the marmalade test. Which so is... it will still look quite runny when it's hot, but a spoon of marmalade onto a cold plate straight out the fridge and it should set in about 15, 20 seconds. When you turn it on its side, it's, it has that consistency Marmalady. that will set. So you're just speeding up the cooling process by putting a little bit on a cold plate. After bubbling away and pouring it into a jar to set completely, you'll end up with that. Oh. So that is Buddha's hand marmalade. This on toast would be... Can I ask a question? How does that differ in taste from normal marmalade? Great question. I want you to describe it so that all of these guys will know. It has that slightly more tangy, slightly more tropical citrus flavour. It's awesome. I like it. Barry likes, Barry likes, likes it. The like reason it. to have it is because Barry likes it. Next up, we can cut the tears to our naked sponge. Now, naked is basically a phrase applied to cake 
when you can see into the sponge and it's not completely frosted or it iced. It hasn't got its clothes on. Yeah, so if you frost or ice a cake, it's less well, naked. Amazing, it? Even more so with this one. Yeah, that's what the police report said. <laughs> We've got three different sizes, three different tiers, and all we're going to do is cut out pieces like that. And the reason being, out of a sheet, once it's pushed through, you even get that slightly naked edge. So you want three of that size, three of that size, and three of that size. And then what we need to do is lay them out and marmalade and cream frost two of each size. It'll make more sense when you see the visuals. Like this. And then alternate, obviously, the ones that you have dressed, finishing each layer with the one that you haven't. This is terrifying, Ben. If you're slightly concerned about the structure or you've got far to transport it, you can actually secure the whole thing, something like a straw or a skewer, and just twist it in, and that'll just stop it all topping over quite so easily. But as soon as you've found your good side, then we dress it with a selection of berries, dusting of icing sugar, and we've even got some edible flowers as well. It does look like something you put on your head. Fascinator. If you know of any fascinating <laughs> ingredients that you think we might like, then comment them below. Or even better, take a photo and upload it to sortedfood.com. If you want to give this recipe a go, you can get all the details down below. But there it is, our naked Buddha's hand cake. Sorted. Sorted. So I just cut into it. That is a good layering process. Mm. That marmalade isn't too bitter. So the amount of sugar we put in it. Yeah. And layered with that sweet sponge. Good job on the baking. Boys, I have to say, Finish. good work. Good work to you too.